Welcome back to You Can Be Box, where today we're going to be learning the zipper sound, also known as the inward zipper sound, and it sounds a little bit like this. The sound idea for this episode was suggested by YouTube user Jetro Angelo Ampong, so thank you so much for the suggestion. If you guys have any other sounds that you want me to do, I'll make sure to add them to the list of tutorials, and you'll get a little shout out at the beginning. And now back to the zipper sound. The zipper sound has a lot of different variations depending on the beatboxer, so I'll just break down the basic way to do the sound. The lip positioning is the most crucial part of making this sound. In the lip oscillation tutorial, I explained that the key to lip oscillations was to keep the sides of your mouth tight while leaving the middle of your laugh flexible and free to make the lip oscillations. For this zipper sound, you want to keep the sides of your mouth tight and also try and stretch your lips. You try and stretch your top and bottom lip across your teeth and you make a weird kind of smiley face like and that's the starting position. The next step is to know that this is an inward sound, which means that you're gonna be sucking in a lot of air really quickly. Once you have your lips in the right position, you just suck in air as fast as you can, and that'll get you a zipperish kind of sound. Next, to get the zipper sound from low to high, like you simply stretch your lips tighter against your teeth as you go. It's kind of like when you try and play a rubber band like a guitar. Once you pluck it once, if you pull it tighter, you pluck it again, it'll be a higher pitched note. But for this sound, you're going to have to play around as much as you can with this to get the sound that you want. So just one more time, you tighten the sides of your mouth and your lips at the same time and suck in air as fast as you can. So, <laughs> To be honest, this isn't a sound that you really throw into a beat like a kick drum or a snare drum, but you can use it as a filler or a way to transition between beats. Here's an example. <laughs> But if you do want to practice it into a beat, here's a good example as well. This is a sound that might take you a few days or maybe even weeks to master. But comment below with any questions or problems you might be having making this sound. But if you keep at it, you'll be able to add it to your arsenal of sounds in no time. By the way, don't forget to clickety-clack on that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. Thanks for watching, you can be boxing. Next time we're going to be learning the backspin roll. <laughs> <laughs>